So what are we doing with our backlinking crew? By the way, backlinkers, pay attention. We're going to be helping you guys understand how to do this with your sites. Because those of the people who are doing backlinking, many of them have shares in the project, even though they're doing the backlinking too for extra money. So it benefits them to have, and I say shares, I'm, I'm just using that term loosely. It benefits them. They, they co-own the project. It benefits them um, to have you know what you're doing. Because if you take one of the websites, the one you're assigned for your cut of profits for all the times that you get the phone to ring and job stopping, and make that thing work, okay, the, the faster that those calls come in on your website, you earn your share, they earn their share. Same with every other website in the project. There are 100 websites that we're releasing. So 100 guys each can get assigned a website by saying, I want to be a backlinker. And then just do what you're told. And you'll start earning your share of the commissions exactly by getting the calls to come through that way. Okay, let me come back to this. All right, so what do I want to say? Here's the thing that, that came to be interesting. We got all this to happen, right? Now, here's the part where I actually killed pages. I wanted to keep them up, but I really don't want to do that to the guy. Here's the thing. One of our guys who's doing very, very well, some of you know who he is, or at least you know because I keep talking about him, right? Uh, the guy making a lot of money <laughs> in his basement with one industry um, from whom a lot of the ideas that we have these days now with this project, a lot of where the direction went came from. And it's fascinating because he's still doing incredibly well. Here's the point. He said, Dave, he said, you know, you're using this one URL structure, right? Um, yeah, this is the one that we're going to talk about later. He said, so when you create, when you generate your URLs, you've got your city dash, you know, service. So you get your city column for all the cities, service column for all the services, and keyword column for all the keywords, and you're making all your different pages, right? And the pages actually use those city services and keywords on them. So yeah. It's like, you know, that is what you're staring at, right? That is exactly what you saw here. You saw city-service.website.com slash keyword.html. So all of these things I've been showing you is that city-service.website.com slash keyword.html. It's like, yeah, that's cool. I mean, they're all different URLs and everything else. The guy was telling me, but he goes, Dave, you're missing something. You... Um, can only get one result per website up for a keyword that way. I'm like, well, yeah. He goes, you know that Google treats subdomains like different sites. I'm like, you know, everyone says I, I think it's just shorthand for think about the categories differently and treat them like different categories, right? Because they can be for anything on your website. He's like, doesn't matter. And he said, look at this. And he showed me a few reasonable size keywords Nothing earth shattering, but at the same time, you know, when you have thousands of them, right, they can really add up. He showed me these and he had multiple results. He had like a subdomain here pointing at the same website and a long folder based link like domain.com slash folder one slash folder two, maybe slash folder three dot something that HTML, right? A page deep down and he said the folder structure is part of the algorithmic difference that makes things look and feel different on the front page of google it's like really you know and the guy's like yeah he goes and also you must agree with this one you know google wants to see more pages in the root than in the subdomains it's like yeah i used to think that i'm not sure if i still agree with it now he goes yeah but you're like totally off balance on that aren't you he goes by the time you create like 20 pages in the root and you've gone like 500 subdomains deep, then you've got 28 pages in each of the 500 subdomains versus just 28 pages in the root. And he said, is there a way that you can just create more pages in the root? You, you know, you would need a different URL structure for that, right? It's like, yeah, I don't want to program anymore. <laughs> like I said, we quit programming, right? He goes, Dave, how much would it take to get you to set up different URL structures that we can use? And he said, use them yourself. No problem. He goes, how much? I said, I, I really don't want to go doing any more development. And he goes, 500 bucks? I said, 900. And he goes, done. He handed it to me. He said, make it. Make it. I'm waiting. Just please. You know, that'll save me a lot of time. It'll save all your other guys a lot of time. It'll help you all make a lot more money. Oh, <laughs> I said, okay, okay, okay. And so guess what? 
as of this AM, <laughs> we're done with all of it. Now, I want to show you what this thing looks like. It's pretty amazing, all right? So before, let me see. And I'm going to pick on a website owner now for an LPE. And congratulations to the owner of this website because he's, he's getting a free uh, software upgrade with this thing, all right, for serious power, all right? Uh -huh. So let me just show you what I mean, okay? So you come into the dashboard, and of course, this front page doesn't mean anything at all. We just threw it in here as a placeholder. We're going to put, like, video links to videos or something. We'll figure it out uh, sooner or later here. But this is no big deal. All right. So anyway, this does matter. These are variables. And these are variables we can put in the project. So we've got a variable for the city, a variable for the keyword, a variable for the service. Remember? That's what we were talking about, right? City, service, keyword, and everything else. Okay? So then we got the rest of this project with all the pages of variables. Okay? That matters. So then we had... Batch global variables, too, is where we would import to create lots of pages. So what would that do? Well, I'll give you an example. As a matter of fact, i got to remember how this is set up. All right, watch this. I'm going to start this way. I'm going to start the beginning, and I'm just going to blank it out, okay? So update. I'm just pretending to update something. I didn't, but what that did was kill every page in this project. Okay, that way I can start the beginning. Here's how easy this stuff is becoming for us now. Okay, I'm going to choose a file. And that's the way things used to be done before. So this is just so I can make sure I'm starting in the right place. All right. So the way that these are broken down now, you know, I could show a bunch. And they're broken down now, okay, is based on the old way of doing it. Okay, or, well, it's just not as upgraded. So anyway, now that I have that, Okay, then his front pages look great. Okay, let me just, as a matter of fact, that's what I'm missing, huh? I don't have anything to show you, do I? All right. So here's his front page, okay? So he's serving Boulder City, Nevada, residents and businesses, and he's got a phone number, okay? And what is he doing? He's getting rid of our cockroach problems, right? And then he goes on and on and on, types of Nevada pests. Yeah, of course, Nevada pests, because, we're you know, this is Boulder City, Nevada, right? And so on and so forth. So a lot is happening here. Boulder City, cockroach removal, et cetera, et cetera. And it goes on and on and on. Pretty blasted cool side on the whole, okay? Nice and simple. It's actually a landing page. It's just a very big one. Uh, now, having said that, he's got a lot of material on the page, a lot of good reason for Google to want to rank the page, okay? So what are we going to do now? Well, the, the, it has no other sites. There's nothing left in the site now. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and import a bunch of, whoops, sorry. We're going to choose and import a whole lot of pages for him, 500. We're going to make a 500-page website for this guy with pages for each kind of pest times each different city he operates in. And let's just see now. So the front page is unaffected, still looks and feels the same. But we added pages, right? So think about it. As you can imagine, there's a link to the sitemap down here somewhere. There's a sitemap. And check this out. We have a page for every different city, for every different service, right? Now, that's awesome because these pages really, really, actually, truly, no kidding, exist. Look at that. Alexander City, right? Now we're going to get into it. Alexander City and extermination for residents right? We click. We get rid of your app problems, okay? Serving Alexander City, Alabama, right? Types of Alabama pests. We could have the same or a different image, okay? So that's what I mean. We can do it with anything. Everything and anything on this page can be a variable. The logo, this guy, the blue color, um, the size of the font, um, the phone number, the size of the words call now. We can make any of this into a variable. Literally everything it says here is totally up to us. Links that go off to different websites for more education about whatever's going on on those, uh, you know, from those websites, whatever they talk about, right? So external authority links, they can be the same or different page by page. It's awesome. So the power to produce long form pages that have a lot of great content about the material and then turn that into a massive website is awesome. But like my guy countered, his whole point was this. 
you've got so many pages in the subdomains and for a landing page like this we don't even have a 20 page website it's a one page website so we have 500 subdomains with a page each and we have one page in the root <laughs> that was this point okay so take a look at this if i view the page source though okay everything is great there's a canonical url it's perfect okay there are links for the images they are relative urls right every subdomain and even though they're relative i assure you there is only one set of images on this website okay we didn't upload them 500 times we created the pages that fast and they are done and google can start indexing them that fast the same way they've been indexing this these pages from this other website okay no question there having said that and it's cool about canonicals right canonical urls absolutely tell google the url <laughs> and so if you have different versions of a page like the www dot versus the non link juice got split but if you use a canonical to say well the www dot version is really this other page too okay then you double the link juice just in that motion canonical urls make it very very simple okay you you can make multiple pages be the same page so that Google adds the link juice back together and treats it like one page it's no longer a duplicate all right now having said that where's the point I want to go from here okay we haven't gotten that yet okay so yeah my guy said this too many subdomains Dave right not enough in the room I was like I counter you on that and he goes no but really you and I both pretty much agree that probably it's wiser to have pages in the room. And he said, besides, I'm showing you keywords where I've got more than one result on the front page because of the difference. It's got to mean something to you. And I was like, okay, okay. So, and again, he paid me. So we step back and I want to make this point. Where do we go from here? I'll show you. We went to this, okay? And when we did this, it was, whoops. Okay. When we did this, it allowed us to, um, switch row by row any URL okay the URL could be the long form subdomain or it could be pages in the root so look at what I did now every other page is in the root this says Alexander City local pest control dot local pest control tech dot com but not the next one it starts local pest control tech dot com slash and it continues from there trust me the page is fine Everything about it is fine. The URL is there. It's referencing Andalusia, which is exactly Andalusia, all right, with their bed bug problems, in this case, bed bug problems, and a different phone number, okay? So all of this is fine. Trust me, it's awesome. So then somebody say this, okay, you got every other page doing that, but are you able to order those pages? Can you put, like, all the root pages first? It's like, yeah. <laughs> So we went back with try number three. And we said, what do you think of this? Okay. And so <laughs> just to show you, right? Because it's pretty important to understand this progression. It's so cool. Um, and again, I mean, this may look like it's really complex, but it's not, right? Like obviously we're just going through and figuring out how to do it. So yeah, all these are in the room, followed by however many we wanted to be in subdomains. So if we said Half the pages are in the root, half the pages are in the subdomains. That's interesting. And then if we said, um, like, more than half are in the root, you know, 70%, and only 30% in the subdomains, that answers every objection. Say you're making websites and you're not sure what the right way to go is, you can quickly check. You, you can test. You can see how to index them the one way and see how many stick and then flip it and index it the other way and see how many stick. What if you could do those tests in just a few days apart from each other, a day apart from each other? What if you could do that? <laughs> and it only takes a few days, sorry, because it only takes a few days because you're waiting to see, you know, if Google starts dropping the pages, if they drop down to here or just down to here, right? Because you're curious. Where the number's going to drop less and how soon before they pop back up and um, how high do they go, right? Very simple. But you can add more pages and you can play with the URL structures. Anyway, that was then, okay? But that was based on 
what? Same thing. Um, here's what I mean. Domain.com slash city-service, city-service again, slash keyword.html, okay? And you're like, okay. So it's again, city-service dot, you know, uh, domain.com slash, right? Keyword.html. So all we did was say switch it on or off, either make it a subdomain or make it a folder. Beautiful, right? But then we got to ask for more variability. And that's where everything really changed. And that got fascinating. And I'll go over that in, in this next video because we're going to go through a lot of um, the breakdowns really fast and what it is we're doing. And we're going to make you an offer that you're going to want to take. It's awesome. It has to do with where we're going with our projects. This has to do with how you can passively be a part of that. And not just that, how you can get these softwares and what you can do with them. Because, yeah, this is my promise to you again. You can absolutely take a website, pretty much anyone out there, once you know what you're doing, and it won't take long because it's second nature. There aren't many moving parts. Um, you basically take their website, upload some software, go into the, some of their pages, make some slight changes um, to add some variations. Put those variations into Excel in different columns, upload your Excel file, and all of a sudden you just made their site much, much, much larger. Now you can choose the URL structures, right? And make the site even larger still, or even more varied still. And then what? Run indexing rapidly, and all of a sudden they're live with lots of pages on Google, and you can show it to them. How much do you think you could charge to create a, a thousand page website for a guy and then make it index overnight, right? And what if you could just do that over and over and over again, okay? So I'm gonna show you that in this next video. I'm gonna break it off now, let you take a break and think about where you're at because it's 27 minutes in. And then come on back, watch the next one. We'll talk about what happened next because it's 10 times better than what I just showed you. And it's so cool.